everyone, welcome back. As always, my name is Oz. Today I'm checking out a game called Goodbye Tired Stars. This is by Qsphere? I think that's how you pronounce this. Qsphere. I did find this game for free on Itch.io. It kind of looks more like an interactive story rather than a game, but it looked very interesting. So let's jump in and check it out. Is it? Oh. I like that sound. So cute. Uh, English, thank you. You can't play it in Spanish, but English is my main language. Well, let's see. What happens when the last star closes its eyes? Among the vast emptiness, there are few stars that still hold on to their light. They tire and tire of shining. They are powerless to fight it. The pull spreads and breaks them apart, scatters them in uncountable particles, lacking the strength to join together again. Such was the fate of the universe all along. As the star collector, the ones who have fallen silent all walk with me, with their memory in my bag of treasures. I observe, I remember, and I keep walking. All right, this is the place. This is the star system I've been looking for. One of these planets has got to have the best view to watch the end of the universe. There is still some time to look around before it all goes out. Let's check them out first. Oh. Oh, tis their star. Um, let's check this one out first. What is this one? Oh, this poor star is sick. Hmm, there are some sort of markings on this stone. They seem to have faded and eroded with time. Could this be writing? The stone foundation in which it's written seems to have fared better than the rest of the building. Maybe whoever wrote it knew what was going to happen and decided to write where it could be best preserved. This does kind of look like buildings and earth and such, huh? What kind of message did they want to engrave here? A record of history? Their last words, perhaps? It's unfortunate that no one remains to know how to read it. Oh, that is very sad. Good golly, Miss Molly. The walls of metal have melted and melded with each other, the sign of very high temperatures. It looks like the civilization here liked to build their houses with metal. In their time, it was probably a very durable material. But even something like that can end up in this state after long exposures to a burning star. The universe has uncountable cases like this. Stars grow and devour what they find on their way, leaving the remaining planets closer to their flames. I know how you must have felt. Some things we are just powerless against. Oh my good golly. Okay. This is, this is a very bleak game, I see, I see. There are strange tall structures in the distance, probably the skeleton of some spires. All that remains is very bare bones, so they might have looked different in the past. Were they a different color, or perhaps they had elaborate metallic ornaments? I wonder if they had any meaning for them. Maybe the people liked to climb to the top of the spires to gaze at the sky. At that time, it must have been a very different sight. At least, that's what I like to tell myself. I think that's what the, that end part said. I think this is the last one. I like how the little star creature moves around. I love his little design. The ground is completely dry. The temperature wouldn't let anything live on it. Feel a trembling below, a mixture of gases and molten rock dancing under the surface. From the cracks, the smoke escapes to dance above. 
In the past, there could have been fields of all kinds of plants taking in the warm light and fresh soil. How would the view have looked back then? If I could, I would lie down and enjoy the breeze with them. Every ruin tells a story. Countless planets have ruins like this, and by observing them, a lot can be learned about who left them behind. Who were they? How did they live? What did they do while they were here? And how would they want to be remembered? This planet's memory, I'll take with me. Collected a treasure, melted key of a ruined planet. Okay. Ruined planet. Melty ruined planet. Okay. I guess we'll go to this one next. Oh, this one, there's like nothing left to it. Oh my, okay. Somehow, the people here managed to build pathways between the fragments. Oh. The few that still keep most of their structure are barely holding together now, but they must have been important back in their better days. Did they walk through these in their normal daily life despite the risk of falling so far below? That's very brave of them. It must have taken a lot of work to put them together and maintain them. Ah, I see. They must have used technology. Indeed. Um, this big rock right here. The little star creature is my favorite. Even though he's not so little, I love him. He's adorbs. Gravity has long lost meaning for this little planet. Some of the fragments are floating far away from where they should have originally been and many others must have been space dust by now. This one offers a great view of the surroundings. It feels like the sky might swallow everything up. Dark above and light below. I'm thankful I get to see this view before the end arrives. This poor creature, he's literally alone at the end of the universe. That's quite sad. There are traces of civilization inside the fragments, or at least what seems to be pieces of buildings. Entrances, windows, just like many of the fences that protected the edge of the rock, a lot of their parts must have fallen with time. There are even some shattered pieces around the windows. Glass, it could be. When I look at places like this, I think about how it must have been to live here gaze from the window into a broken world and call it home. Oh my. Okay. I believe this part. Yeah. Strange diffuse mass that long ago could have likely been the core of this planet. Even now, it does its best to hold together the scattered pieces that remain floating around it. From what it looks like, this planet must have been far smaller in the past. Could it be did the people here do this to themselves? In a lack of space, they had to create it themselves. That's... This one is truly an unusual sight. By all means, a place that I have never thought that could exist. But even at its end, the universe always has more surprise to give. The reason it ended up like this might have been lost, but their message hasn't. Even in a shattered place like this, they managed to hold on to hope to keep living. This planet's memory, I'll take with me. Gathered a treasure, broken glass of a fragmented planet. Alright, and then we have this final planet. Oh, this one's so pretty. Let's start with the mountain. There are giants towering over the horizon, and this one overshadows all of them. And yet, it's far from surpassing the blue mountains from so long ago. That one still has the record. I wonder, which could be the tallest mountain in all the cosmos? Have I already seen it without knowing, or will I never know now? But again, taller doesn't always mean a better viewpoint. I'd say the view of the sky and the land from up there must be amazing enough to see. Alright, this is a little hill.
hill. Cute little hill. Out of the nearby hills, this one seems to be the tallest. Are they truly hills or are they giant dunes of sand? The different colors of the sand paint lines on them, like the grains have been carefully placed by the wind. Many of the treasures I've collected on my journey are paintings. Where there are people, they always like to record views in it from still images. If one lived here, would they have chosen this view to frame? It is a very beautiful place. Oh, such adorable little houses. Or so they could be if there was someone living on this planet. I feel like I have seen this kind of mineral in other places, but never in this kind of curious formation. They're peeking out, half buried in the sand, so there must surely be more of them underneath. Could the ground itself be made of this material? Thousands of these natural towers all hiding below? Perhaps. This could be called a river, but instead of water, the current is made of iridescent grains of sand. Where do they come from? Where do they go? Is there a giant sand ocean at the end of their journey? Or maybe the current moves in a circle, looping around the dunes with only forward as a destination. A bit like we used to be in a way. Always onward to the next place to see, never knowing what our last stop would be. The sand runs and sparkles, making a pretty sound. Would that I could listen to it for longer? Beautiful, yet never had a chance to sustain life. Perhaps the condition never allowed it to thrive. Perhaps life never reached this planet to begin with. The great majority of planets are like this, unseen landscapes except for us travelers of the cosmos. But is it less beautiful even though no one lived here to see it? This planet's memory. I'll take it with me. Gathered a treasure, soft pebble of a lone planet. It seems like time is running out. I think any of these three planets might be a good place to stay for the end. But which one? Um, this one was truly beautiful, and no one's ever lived here, so it deserves to have a chance. A soft pebble of a lone planet. Yes. I sit down at the top of the mountain and look up at the sky. In the end, this may not be the tallest mountain in the universe, but this view is all I need. Maybe out there somewhere, there's someone else sharing the same view. Oh, this is so sad. Everything that was, that has been, and what couldn't be. To the end, I'll remember them all. From now on, the stars will fall asleep. And perhaps one day, they will wake again. A dream wiped out to start the morning anew. Okay, well, that was... That was a beautiful little game. That was truly a beautiful little game. Very sad, but beautiful. The art was beautiful. The, the story, the music was great. Yes, this was great. And the little character design of the little gatherer, I loved it so much. So again, this was Goodbye Tired Stars by Qsphere. Again, I don't know if that's how it's pronounced. This was free on Itch.io. So thank you all so much for watching. If you liked what you saw, please like, comment, share, and subscribe for more content just like this. I'll have to look into this uh, game developer and see what else they have done. And I hope to see more of their games here in the future. So again, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye!